All right, here is the slow down video again, you guys. I just want to show you. So it looks like she was trying to block herself and she already had the pot in her hand as she was getting pew pewed at and then it fell. And you know what's crazy what started all this? What made him pull his weapon out was because she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. It's like he got so mad at her for saying that. So he found that as a threat. And then you can hear her saying, I'm sorry. And then she starts ducking while holding the pot in her hand. And that's where you see it look like, you know, what people are thinking that she threw it. When in reality, it's more like she was ducking, trying to get away from an officer that was pointing a firearm right at her face. And then he had the audacity to go around the counter and she was already on the floor ducking. And that's when he fired his firearm. That's when he decided, when she's already ducking on the floor. She was never a threat. He, it was just also the fact that he said, just let her be. Let her be. If you guys want to watch that part of the video, it was like after he took her life and she's struggling to take breaths, you can hear him just say, just let her be. There's nothing we could do about it. Yes, there is. If she has a chance to live, give her that chance at rendering aid to her immediately. But you guys didn't. It took you guys like three minutes to finally render aid to her, but it was already too late. You can hear on the body cam footage, gasping for air, struggling to breathe, when you guys could have at least tried to help her and you didn't. It shouldn't have even happened. I really hope they take this video and officers learn or they're trained better in situations like this because if an officer is threatened by words, by words or a pot, there's something needs to change. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll keep you guys updated and I'll really pray that Sonic gets the justice that she deserves.